Let's call the meeting to order. Oh, uh, we don't need clerk or anything, nothing. So we're going to do roll call. Okay, so this is a discussion. So we go straight Pledge of Allegiance. To okay. All right, let's turn up for Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item for review. I believe that there are four of them, and at this point, we'll turn to you and to the mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, uh, Terry Henley, our, our budget director, will be walking uh, you through uh, the agenda for today. Mm -hmm. um, and we're here to really solicit some feedback from the council as we go through our, uh, I guess I won't say the preliminary stages of our budget process, but we're approaching the middle stages of the budget process. So with that, yes, sir. I just want to add for the benefit of everyone that this none of this that we're doing tonight is, is required by statute. This isn't one of any of the uh, required statutory meetings. Um, this is just a, in addition to what the administration will, will do to uh, fulfill the requirements under the statute. So, mm -hmm. so, and so no one, just, just as we start this, I don't want anyone to think that this is part of that, that process. That process has not begun yet. Uh, okay, so this, pretty much this workshop could have been taken place elsewhere. Yeah, it's, it's not one of it, those it's not one, okay. statutory yeah. meetings. Meeting. Okay. This is us just giving you information and keeping you informed of where we are. So okay. with that, I'll turn it over to Terry Henley. Good evening, Mayor and Council, Terry Henley, Budget Office. Uh, I'm gonna do a brief presentation. It's a few slides, uh, which goes over the, the four item, items which we will discuss in, in more detail. Uh, so today's topics include the, the purpose, why, why are we here, and the timeline for the budget development process. I'll discuss some possible millage rates, some uh, scenarios, and then revenue outcomes projected based on these scenarios. Then we'll discuss a, a budget baseline and then new capital and operating requests that we will add on addition to the existing budget baseline and that impact. And then lastly, staff will solicit mayor and council uh, to discuss their, their budget priorities for the upcoming fiscal year. So June 1st, the property appraiser released the, the estimated values for uh, North Miami and property values went up eight and a half percent. This went from 2.4 billion to 2.6 billion dollars approximately. Uh, the, the next important date in the process is actually today. It's, it's June 22nd, it's our budget workshop. And uh, later we'll be t discussing uh, your priorities and staff's approach to developing the budget. Uh, then on July 1st, the property appraiser will come with uh, a firmer numbers so we'll know the uh, property tax uh, estimates or property values. And then on September 6th and September 20th, staff will come back to you for the first and second budget hearings where we will adopt a millage rate and adopt a budget. This slide represents uh, possible options that we have. If I, if, uh, uh, for millage rate and uh, ad valorem taxes. If I can direct your attention to the white column, which is FY1516 adopted, you'll see that we have a millage rate of 7.9336. At a total assessed value for properties of almost $2.4 billion, uh, that, that generated roughly about $18 million in, in property tax revenue. Now, if we were to choose the same millage rate at 7.9336, that would be option B, the yellow column. And at that, we would generate a little more than $19.5 million, which is one and a half more than this year. If we were to choose option C, which is the rollback rate, uh, the rollback rate is the rate applied to the total assessed value that would generate the same amount of tax revenue as last year. If we were to do that, we would generate roughly $18 million again. Now option A, that would be the maximum millage rate allowed by a majority vote, and what that re would require is four votes uh, of approval. And if we chose 1.1, 345 as the millage rate, that would generate $20 million, which is about $2 million more in property taxes. Now, this is under the assumption, two key assumptions in, the, in this analysis is that- I'm sorry, which one you said that you would, would uh, 
would need four votes? Four votes would be option A. Option A. Because that would be an increase in taxes. Okay. Which is a super majority. Super majority, yeah. Four votes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the two key assumptions in this analysis is that the CRA funding is at the 95% level, which is the how it is right now, yes, sir. and that this is before the July 1st property tax, uh, property tax values come out. So this is a very fluid situation, and the numbers are likely to change when we get those firmer, when we get a firmer picture. Now, this slide, and different than, than past years, we're, we're involving council very early in the process, and we're taking a different conceptual approach to the budget development process in the form of what's called a budget deficit. And this is a theoretical budget deficit. And this includes our baseline budget, which is the, the 52 million. This is our operating budget for this current year. If we clone that and say, hey, we're also going to have $52 million in revenues and, and expenditures next year. And on top of that, you want additional services, like uh, additional operations, like I want 12 new police officers and four more code officers. Uh, those operations, we. Uh, the budget office asked department heads to, to give us their wish list for those operations. And throwing that on top of our 52 million, it would be 2.9 million. And that would be an operating difference. We also asked them, what are your capital requests? And rank them in priority. These capital requests, like uh, fixing the, the stadium bleachers, for example, uh, the aggregate came out to a little more than five and a half million dollars. Put that on top of the operational difference, and right now you're at about $8.6 million in a theoretical uh, budget deficit. Now keep in mind, uh, we will come back with a balanced budget September 6th and September 20th for your hearings. And this is the picture as it looks right now. So with that, we'll, um, uh, we'll start taking the items for your discussion uh, one by one. Thank you. One by one, item one. Well, at this point, we'd really like to kind of get some feedback from the council. More importantly, like what are what are the budget priorities that you're looking for us to focus on as we go through the rest of the pro process? Are there programs, additional police, um, capital requirements, um, things of that nature, so that we can kind of get a sense of where we should be guiding ourselves as we finish, as we go through these next couple of months. So I don't know how, what format, Mr. Mayor, you want to take, if you want to go one by one or, you know, we can just kind of hear back from each council, council person. Mm -hmm. But Mr. Mayor, before we go, can you give us an explanation of uh, the, the $5.6 million for capital improvement? What are the project or the, the, the perspective of project? The supplements? No, the capital. There's, a, there's an operational difference of 2.9 million and if you look at page page 10 in your packet uh, w which was also slide four in the presentation uh, 52 million dollars was your operational budget for this year let's assume we also have 52 million dollars for next year status quo everything the same you get the same services mm -hmm. and everything same revenues we add police officers we add code officers we enhance programs those supplementals those operational increases that came out to 2.9 million. That's not what That's I'm staff asking. wishes. He was, he was asking about the capital. No, no, the no, capital, no. capital as well. The capital request, some of the projects. What are some of the items? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's what I asked. Okay, uh, page 12 and 13. Uh, some of the problems. Some, some of the items include like uh, electric car charging stations and electric vehicles. Electric uh, vehicles. That's that's they, they, they on this report that he showed you in the back. Which page? Page twelve page. and thirteen. Twelve. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So oh, those just are just for the sake of the public, we are referring to the supplemental budget workshop package that was provided to each of the uh, council okay. people. Page twelve. That's the details, right? That's, that's the yeah. detail. The detail is twelve and twelve thirteen, right? Mr. Mayor, can I mm -hmm. ask a question, oh. please? Um, Mr. Ahead. Manager, <laughs> so we won't do nothing with the mileage rate until July first. Until we Until basically after. get after that, we we get something from the property appraisal, then we'll know where we are. Correct. We but have to. That's and that that refers back to what yeah, the okay. attorney was talking so about. So we're not touching that. We're just going straight to our 
priorities? Your priorities. Okay. Which is just, just which, again, it's just gotcha. a dialogue about what your priorities are. Got it. Okay. When, when is the next report from the property appraiser's office? Right. Uh, they give us the preliminary final uh, July 1st. Yeah, okay. couple days. Yeah. Actually, you should, Ms. Mayor, you should actually receive the document because they usually send it to you. Two days what? Two days the 22nd. The 22nd. So, so by, week. The, by the end of the week, beginning yeah. of next week, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. How do you want to do it, Mr. Mayor? Do you want so, to go where you yeah. want? Yeah, with whatever I, okay. you can. Um, I have a list. Um, so you you gonna write it down or do, yeah, do okay? We're, 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 we're writing all of it. I guess stuff. okay. Infrastructure repairs. Just the I don't know how much, but one of the problems that we've been having is light. I don't know if we're responsible or, or who's responsible for maintenance of light. Is it us? Okay, so lights, uh, street lights, street lights, yeah. mm -hmm. FPNL, but we mm -hmm. can. FPNL. So we responsible or they responsible? Or who pay? They, we pay or they pay? Well, from what I was told, when Alim was here, is that it's, uh, for new lights, for example, mm -hmm. or for existing lights, we pay about what eight dollars per oh, month okay. per light. I but guess depending. I don't know on the size yeah, of the, these are um, the existing lights. Existing, they, they're just not working. I'm gonna have the public works. Do or existing lights not, not working. Or that would be FPNL. Okay. Which we board? we report it to them. Oh, and I have a list. It's which board? And I'm saying I have a list. Board or the I, board? How do you want me to know which board? Mm. <laughs> I don't oh, know okay. what's okay. us. Well, to help you, I mean, Mr. E. Pierre Lewis, uh, you can attest to the fact that. A, Few months back, we had a meeting with FPNL, and we did identify a list of okay. of uh, light poles that were not functional in areas that needed additional light poles. And there was a list of like maybe fifty something uh, different sites that were supposed to be worked on. And I don't know what the follow up has been. And I guess in a, I guess we should just listen to him. I mean, to you. <laughs> To, to see okay. what the requests are. Okay. Um, small, smaller traffic circles, if p possible. Um, mm -hmm. Sidewalk, I, but I think that's that's part of um, a big program you're doing, Mr. Mayor. Mm -hmm. The YOB program, I know we had did the additional funding, so maybe that's not through through there, Mr. Manager. But just so you'll know, um, economic development, um, perhaps. Um, smaller from CPND, and maybe that th this could be from the CRA, the the, the um, business attraction or business beautification grant for Seventh Avenue corridor. But from us, I know we had some issues with. Um, no, we do have some issues with funding from the um, um, CDBG funding. Mm -hmm. So home beautification and, and home repair, which which is housing. So. Top priority will be housing, which will be repair, roof and windows if possible, however that we do it, and be beautification, home beautification will be next, and then we could go into the um, the repair because we might not be responsible for the home repair. That's, that's the top. That's it. You want it's more? It. <laughs> <laughs> you give more. You done? I'm done. <laughs> oh, okay. Me for capital improvement. What about, uh, did you put the, did you put Cagney money on? No. On the budget? Where I'm gonna see it? The, the Cagney was, was not part of this process, but staff has identified the resources. For so, so the project is, the that project is fully funded, as you know. We had the, in the, the, the council already took action. We took uh, $2 million from the previous, uh, <coughs> this prior year's uh, Solomia payment on the closing of the land. We have the GOB money that we are okay. uh, going to be doing the significant modification with the county, which we'll, we're moving. And then, of course, the school board's uh, contribution. I think we just actually, we're transmitting our final um, version of the uh, interlocal agreement to the school board right now, so that process is, well, we're working on it. We're, we're, so the process is moving. 
No. Remember, on the general fund side, you won't see that here because okay. that'll be a, spe a special revenue project if you look okay. for that. So. You have a quick question. Yeah, quick question, um, Mr. Manager. If an item was allocated in last year's budget, well, this year's budget, and for, for whatever reason it's not used up by October 1st, does it roll over or um, does it? Yes, it, if it's a capital project, it's reallocated to the Perfect. next year. Okay, so can you add to my list K Kiwanis Park? <coughs> huh? Well, he said he want to give me some money from his, yeah, um, oh, <laughs> no, no, not from that. <laughs> no, I didn't give you no 250, no. So Kiwanis Park, do you want an amount? Is that what you, and, would you and what do you, you have in mind? Um, whatever you, you, you I'm, I'm being very, very gracious because we already have something. Uh, so whatever that you have all, on top of that, because we were trying to so build some, um, some, some park improvements there. Or? Well, we have 250, okay. but we, I think we, we were trying to have something a little bit more um, for the folks to have a barbecue or have um, more shaded areas, okay. um, et cetera, et cetera. Thank you. I think you don't want your 250. No, you, no, you cannot take it, Councilman. Oh, okay. No. Okay, <laughs> we we spoke about uh, Cardinal Park. Eh? Now, street improvement. I know and uh, Public Works, and I work with Public Works already in identifying some streets that need uh, repaving. Have. Uh, Street repaving. I don't know if uh, Mr. Whistler Pierre, you're gonna add it to your budget. Those street repaving. Those are funded from the. Transport. Are we are using dollars. only the transportation? Yes. Yeah, we, use, we we have. So again, I hear your priority. Because I know the money for transportation is not even enough for. I got it. The amount of streets that uh, we wanna repave in my district alone. Let me let me address that this way. Um, there will be a an item on a recent agenda or an upcoming agenda mm -hmm. that uh, we are requesting the council's permission to approve the award of a contract for us to do citywide street um, assessment, street sidewalks, wells, and drainage. As part of that process, I will be recommending to a board to the board a funding, uh, basically a funding plan to deal with all of that. In addition to that, I think, you know, we have annual allocation mm -hmm. of our surtax money and transportation monies where we are, I guess, pay as you go allocating dollars mm -hmm. um, to deal with, uh, I guess, generally um, identified street, street improvements, sidewalk improvements, so on and so forth. Got so you. that will be part of the budget that will be brought forth. We will probably have to continue our discussion with you to make sure that we're picking up the specific streets that you've already we, identified yeah. um, to make sure that we're, um, we have an idea of what that fund what that funding requirement is going to be and give you the plan on, all right, it'll be, you know, we'll start that project on X day or Y day, but, but we are bringing it forth. But at the same time, we already have a study that uh, identifying uh, those streets uh, since 2001, 11, 2012, Whistler. Yeah. The resurfacing of the streets that in need in the city. Yes, we, we have a plan that goes back to 2006. Oh. A pavement evaluation study that was so done back that's then. Why we're, that's why we're- That's been the bad now, they're worse. Okay. No, it's for the study. The money is talking about this for a no, new but study. You said we have a study. But right? it's, it's fairly. It's, it's an old study. Old. It's going to be, oh, okay. as the manager said, we're updated. presenting it yeah. in the um, the next council meeting to get it updated. Yeah, but to do. Uh, to get it but yeah. but yeah. those streets that uh, we are talking about, we won't wait for the study in order for you to we, start doing those we, work. We also have to um, answer your question. We have a a bid that was opened last week. Mm -hmm. which is for resurfacing. That's in addition to what we routinely put in the budget. Mm -hmm. We routinely put 250000 in. Mm -hmm. We have a bid for estimated $300,000, mm -hmm. sorry, $300,000 mm -hmm. citywide, and it does address some of the locations that you did bring to my attention. Okay, okay. So and that will be taken care of before 
the next but fiscal year. Before yes. the fiscal yes. year, on top of the study it's that's going to address exactly. those uh, streets. Mr. Manager, yes. can I get a copy of, the, of those items that once this have RFQ, already? Yeah, <coughs> whichever items, that, which streets you're going to be doing within this RFQ that you, sa you said that's out. Thank sure. You. Which one? You got the one that he said you that's out. The previous. No, 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 not the previous. He said there's a current um, bid out for. No, it's not for streets, it's for qualifying firms. No no no, 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 no. In addition to what we're addition bringing back, there is a solicitation out right now. For what? To to get a company to do the streets that were previously identified. Oh, the one you previously yes, identified. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, I thought it was an IFQ uh, to find qualified firm to do the street, but you haven't picked the street yet. No, 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 no. Those for those ones. Okay. It's for those streets that. Oh, that's when you already yeah, choose the streets. the streets. It's only on the street too. That's what I want to make sure. <laughs> now, I, I saw it. It's okay. Are you talking and about different projects? Or my understanding is that you ha were going to identify or engage a company. I don't know what, what stage you are in to get a company to do a comprehensive. Yes. That, is that award is coming back to the for commission consideration mm. at our next meeting. At our next meeting. Yes. So that, that has nothing to do with the previous no. streets that were that identified. Nothing to do with the previous streets. Okay. Mm. This is, okay. like you said, this, what I'm bringing back is the comprehensive Com yeah. citywide so we can give you a real funding plan and the implementation plan to deal with everything. How long do you s see that take? Uh, How long? Yes, you have to work tonight. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we we asked them for an, an aggressive schedule, and it will be about nine months to complete it. To complete the study? Yes, they have to go. The city is nine and a half square miles. They will actually do a survey of each single street in the city. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Do they use skateboards? <laughs> Nine months, you said? Hmm? Okay. And uh, now sidewalk. Mm. Sidewalks. How yeah. you put so the additional money on top of the transportation money for sidewalk? Right now, we just have the transportation money allocated right now. But we'll... Can we see if we can do some additional, additional fun in, in do you have an estimate of how much we're gonna be getting this year and John for the transportation for the from the for the, the transportation money you have that number don't you you have any idea yeah. how much yeah. it is okay. last year was about 1.2 um, you mean allocated to sidewalk no not to sidewalk how much money total you you're gonna be uh, getting about this year? two point Three million. Two point two million. Okay. But um, that doesn't leave a lot for for projects. That that goes mostly to operating. Okay, but last year you used two hundred and fifty for sidewalk, right? Yeah, and in yeah. the tentative budget, uh, Whistler and I we put in about uh, two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand from the transportation. Yeah. Okay, but Whistler, you didn't put any additional money from the general fund. No. 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 Not okay. Can you no, see if you can identify some because uh, and uh, the transportation money can only be used for new or repair, John? Uh, it can now be used for, for both. For both? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the CRA money that cannot be used for both, right? The C well, the CRA, separate and apart, you can identify a project that we would do and use the TIF funds to, to execute that project. Okay, but from what? So, I in other words, I wouldn't. I, I would not be recommending a repair of a square of sidewalk. What I would do is say we have a a project uh, that goes from X Street to, to Y Block, and the do the, uh, the infrastructure improvement, the complete okay. improvement. Okay. Not a you know one off repair here or there. It would be an actual brand new project. So, you finished? Yeah. I always think of you that. Know. You can go. Well, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Man. No, you can go. 
No, I've actually, I don't know, all the items seems to be repeating, so that should tell staff uh, something. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, no, but yeah. repeat it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, the uh, lights, uh, the, 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 the city needs more lights. Uh, like I said, a few months back, we sat down with FBNL, and my understanding is that they were going to uh, give us some kind of feedback as to, you know, where the, those lights were going to be, you know, uh, implemented. Then we have sidewalks. Like I, I mean, I've, these are things that I've always said in most of the meetings. Yeah. Uh -huh. The city is 90 years old, so that's what I have to say. And we have to street sidewalks, street repair. We have Travel to see if we can allocate, yeah, and street uh, escapes, a, a, and uh, actually not Miami adult, uh, is that where we should mention it as well? You can. Is it yes. something that? So that, I think that program is already funded in, in parts, right? No, the is it? Outer. Yeah, not Miami adult. We do it every year anyway. It's just that there was a little hiccup. Oh, the adult education program. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it was funded this year. But when it comes to, mm. Mayor, mm. when it comes to street, street light, <coughs> but every day, every people are asking for street light. Mm. Yeah. What are you planning on doing? Yeah. So it's everywhere. It's so I'll go, I know a study, a, a study was done, was already done. We'll take a look at that. But I know that in order to implement something citywide like that, obviously we're going to have to engage FPNL because they put the street lights out. They're now we can do. They're already engaged. Right, they're yeah. engaged. Yeah. I, I know we have the ability to go out and do our own, but there's, you know, we still have to work with them and, and figure it out. Because in some cases, say you want, in Griffin, you want a more decorative pole. We may have to pay for that. Right now, we need regular one. We just need lights. <laughs> we just need to get the lights. Right. And, uh, and I forgot something. Uh, we got a well, this won't be your last chance. So we'll, you know, yes. we'll be briefing one on one. So and another yeah. thing, we need uh, to go inside the master plan, the tree master plan, and you need to. Identify money for tree. To buy it or, or to make it to maintain that. No buy. Oh, buy. The yeah. plan in the plan that uh, the master plan that they have for tree, uh, they need a lot of tree in in the city, and the study has been done. And every year, we it won't be able to put trees everywhere at once. But every year, you need to identify some money. To buy trees. Wasn't that a discussion item in uh, like a couple of meetings ago? Uh, yeah, a few we meetings. have the master plan. We, we, we have, have, have hmm? 50,000. We have the matching grant. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The 37, yeah. yeah. We matched 25 and 25. I don't know if that was for But that was for the downtown that. only, no? No, a citywide native plan. Okay, but we need to, you need to identify. So my, okay. my district alone need more than 50,000 <laughs> dollars for tree. It's, uh, three, it's almost 300 a piece. It, they're not cheap. I know, right. I know. Yeah, go ahead. No, I would about $100 for a tree. I need some nice palm trees. So <laughs> you gotta be native plant. Medusa palm, Medus palm, palm, royal palm, or which palm? People nice said native plants. <laughs> the, 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 they would come and uh, native plants. You cannot put, no, you cannot put, no, the, the, the master from the, the master, master plan. Right of, uh, I know, but I'm trees telling, I'm telling them what I would like. I'm not saying what they are. You gotta go inside of the plan. When? You gotta go inside of the plan. <laughs> you gotta go, whatever. Florida friendly. One of the, one of the items that I always discuss with you, Mr. Manager, is, okay, I know we, a lot of times we have different groups come in asking for sponsorship of this and that and what have you. And I always point out the fact that if we, each of the council member had discussion a discretionary fund, that way they can choose, you know, which, you know, program they want to sponsor or what. Of course, discretionary fund doesn't mean that you give, okay, here's $50,000 and then spend it as you I got wish. You. No. Always, they always have to come through you to say, okay, I want to spend 
one thousand dollars here, two thousand dollars there, you know, for what for for whatever uh, reason that I still have to go through you as the manager. Hmm? That's gonna go to to him. Hmm? He's giving us the money, and then we we think it's for him to us how to spend it. No, I mean uh, there has to be some kind of control. He got to be an ordinance for that, right? Yeah, but okay. some somehow he's got to be an ordinance. He cannot yeah. just yeah. be. A but budget. if if if, if, if councilman or I want to give to an organization, uh, you saying we got to ask permission, or if they give us two thousand, let's just say we start with something small, because I like the idea. But it's not two thousand. Oh, okay. You're talking about oh, if it's something. You're big, talking about big, awesome. <laughs> 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 but well, I don't want to. You well, if you if you allow me, through the mayor, um, mm -hmm. to make a suggestion. I've seen you know obviously like the county commission has it. I've s uh, several of the cities have where each elected official does have a discretionary fund. Mm -hmm. I think what the mayor was trying to say is not that I'm giving you permission. It was that you would direct me. You yeah. know I want to I want to sponsor X or I want to use my money to sponsor mm -hmm. this program or support this CBO in addition to maybe what had, was allocated as the full board. So that concept, not not me telling you, obviously I'm not going to be telling you, oh, spend your money here, spend your debit money. But you need an urgency for that. Yeah. Right. See that, you know, for discretionary fund for something like that. No? You see, we, we already have that. I would just, I would allocate it as part of the budget. It'll be a line item, a line item in the budget. That's how I'm used to seeing it, not a, a separate ordinance or anything. But if you're worried about Miss Mayor, if, I may. mm -hmm. if you're worried about controls over whether or not the group is what, an actual what, organization, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 we can continue using Absolutely. what we already yeah. have. Absolutely. in Absolutely. 2012 yeah. resolution. That I agree. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That I agree with that. Yeah. Okay. So this going to you going to work on that yep. as far as mm -hmm. what the amount would be. I so already had that from our previous conversation. And, uh, mm -hmm. Traffic. I'd like to. Uh, there is a lot of when you walk through those streets and you actually see uh, in those intersections. Those tire marks, donut. <laughs> Sorry, it's me. I mean, you can't help. <laughs> oh, you've been doing the donut. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And uh, and you have kids, you know, playing in the streets and so forth. And they, these people, they do need those traffic coming, you know, type of, be it speed humps or bumps or whatever. I, they, I've seen different ones that are pretty cheap. Uh, actually, Whistler can tell us which one, which way, uh, to really go. We, we remember that intersection where we went mm -hmm. we were considering well, we pu putting <coughs> those those ridges yes that would just the, the stop the yeah. the kind of marking as you approach the stop sign yeah there might stop yeah there might be even more practical or yeah. even cheaper than the humps or bumps that we are accustomed to but uh, we would like to see some there's some type of put more emphasis on so this all still have to do with streets and traffic Correct. and so forth Correct. Uh, tra uh, transportation i guess and uh that's pretty, like you said, we have an opportunity. To, this is just the first shot we're getting at it. And uh, I guess in subsequent meetings, there will be more items that will surface and we'll take it from there. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you. I apologize for being late. I thought it was at 6, so I was early. We kind of used to it by now, so don't worry. not <laughs> used to that. I was early for when I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my priorities, as I've been saying, is one, enhanced code enforcement, which I see is on the list, um, adequate officers and enforcement on the weekends. Continue with that. They're doing a good job um, that, I, that I see people out in the weekend, which is when a lot of the shady uh, violations are occurring. And I believe we should have another Marine Patrol officer. I think we need one. I don't see it on the list. And I'm looking for more police officers, which I do see on the list, but want to make sure that we have increased traffic patrol. Uh, speeding is rampant throughout our city. There's not a resident who doesn't complain about speeding on their street. I mean, I have a five-house street, and the people are speeding regularly. Um, and I would like to see more neighborhood surveillance uh, police officers uh, patrolling the neighborhoods, especially in the evening, uh, just so everybody knows not to mess with the city of North Miami that we're watching. So that's important. I see a lot of line items for that, so I'm hoping that's done. Um, something that is really important we should have had two years ago, um, I'm it's in there, but I want to reinforce that I'm very much in favor of a contract compliance manager. We, we are so deficient in 
uh, compliance with our contracts, making sure that the contracts we have are being uh, kept up. We're probably losing a lot of money just because we don't know when payments are supposed <coughs> to be made. Yeah. Yeah. We have it for this year. Matter of fact, this year's budget. Is there, in fact, mm -hmm. just if you will allow me through the mayor, um, the attorney and I will actually will be conducting interviews shortly um, to identify the actual individuals mm -hmm. that yeah. will it's in this yeah. case, take no, that role. I don't think we have anybody who has sat down with yeah. every contract that is in force in our city and making sure that every item is being complied with. We have payments. No, we I have agree with you. And, and not just monetary compliance. People are supposed to be submitting reports. People are supposed to be doing this, and there's and they're all over in different apartment departments. Oh, I thought you were doing it. So we're really very delin um, deficient in our uh, contract compliance. So I would like to see that stay. Uh, capital improvements, uh, we need landscaping badly. Um, specifically in my district, we need landscaping um, on the medians down 123rd Street between the bridge, cause the Causeway Bridge and Biscayne Boulevard. I mean, those medians are half half empty, dirt. They're they're terrible. Um, CNCC Boulevard at the entrance there by off um, 123rd. We could use. I don't know what it is that we should do, but we should enhance that somewhat. Uh, we're going to. Um, we do have a serious problem with swales and flooding, uh, especially with the high tides. One of my big flood issues is Northeast 124th Street, which we're working at, uh, we're working with, but when mentioning it, there's other people throughout the city that are in very low-lying areas. So I'm looking, uh, so I can say this out loud, uh, there's a lot of people that need help with their swales. The water goes up, when the water recedes, that's great. It's what happens to the swales after the water is gone. Um, I would like to institute some type of lending program to people who can't afford it or people who really have a need for it where we can help, where the city can actually say, okay, we've got some contractors and we will do your swale, like with pavers, the kind with the holes in them. So when the water goes down, they're not left with a mud pit. They're left with some type of pavers that we can go in, help the neighbors do that, but make it more of a loan, a lien on the property, just like beautification with windows and uh, roofs and painting. Uh, to be able to help neighbors who can't afford to redo their swales. I like to do that, and it's not necessarily a giveaway, but it is help with that. And um, I believe there are some other issues in Keystone, in your district, Ms. Council McGavin, on Bay Shore and over <coughs> in the older Venetian section. And I know there were a lot of areas um, right in the central portion that have some serious flooding. So. Uh, we're doing this assessment, I believe, Mr. Manager, so we can identify those areas. Again, landscaping, I'd like to see some better landscaping. Uh, I would like, going forward, native trees. Uh, s if we stop using these other trees that need irrigation, that are dying, that just, they're dying because they really don't belong here. We, and if we would plant, if we would just be a little patient, plant some younger trees, we can get a lot more trees for the money let them grow, um, <coughs> but you know, I would like to see that. Uh, lighting is very important. I've been asking my constituents to tell me if they have lighting issues. I understand some is just a matter of trimming trees around the lights, but I mean, when we got a light in front of my house 50 years ago, it was, we paid for it. But I'm with my money that I had, my discretionary fund, anybody who wanted a light, I was willing to say, fine, I'll get you a light. I think lighting is important and anybody who needs it, um, I'd like to be able to do that. Speaking of lighting in FPL, a couple years ago, FPL came through, we did a big survey in Keystone and there are fiberglass poles going up and down Keystone Boulevard, then going over the bridge. And we identified them, they were going to replace <coughs> these poles. What they did was paint them. But if you look, these fiberglass decorative poles uh, up and down Biscayne Boulevard, this is nothing the CRA can do because these poles are not in the CRA. These poles, if you see these windy white rings going around, that is exposed fiberglass. If you touch these poles, you're going to get fiberglass shards in your fingers. So we have dozens and dozens of really ratty poles throughout our city. city and I think um, 
if this is part of your study, we could go through there. Like I said, I went through with Mrs. Player and um, staff, and we marked every single poll and said what we needed. Again, all we did was paint them. A few were replaced, and some of the bulbs, and they were different size and varied. So uh, if we do lighting, everybody seems to want lighting. I'd like to address those fiberglass poles and do something with those. Uh, I'd like to continue. We've been doing it since I've been in office. Uh, continuing uh, repairing any sidewalks that need it, holes in streets. Uh, with the Nomi app, they're doing really good. You find a pothole, you you sh you know shoot it on Nomi org, and uh, by that afternoon, uh, staff comes and fixes it. Good job, thank you. But then we're left with a little asphalt ground, you know circle. So I know in my district. There's so many of the streets that really do need resurfacing. They look terrible. Uh, our waste company made some really horrible messes of our street. I know they're on about their third or fourth cleanup. Hopefully, it will get rid of the lines going around. But if that doesn't help, uh, we, we've got really ugly streets. They're faded, and they've got drip marks all up and down this every everywhere in my neighborhood and throughout the city. So resurfacing streets is important. I'd also like to address at our meeting our CRA. Uh, if you look on this uh, schedule, the CRA is going to have about two and a half million dollars. If we did a 50 50, we could have another million and a quarter in our budget to be doing some of these things. We want discretionary, we want to give away money, we want to have parties. Um, my thoughts are before we start giving away money and have money in our piggy banks to just give out like candy, um, we, we need to get some more money. We need to take, we, you know, I, I still want the money from the CRA. I want half of that money. And I think that our city needs to be operating. We need to be above, we need to be really flush before we just start giving away to groups. Uh, you know, that's not what a city is for. So I'm you know, it, it would be fun to give away money. I love to do that, but I think we better be in a good fiscal shape before we just start handing out money to people. And individual handouts and individual homes take care of two, three houses where you could do so much more for the entire city. So I'm really not into so much individual people. You, we, we've got some grants going. We have like one grant, one person's going to get it. We have another grant coming up. Two people are going to get it. To me, that's just so unfair when money can be used for the entire population or for a big project that can benefit us all because it's all our tax dollars. Um, parks. Can, I'm sorry, can Which you? Which grant you said one person going to get it? When you well, say well, grant, well, what kind of grant you're talking about? Well, we've got, we've got CBO and CBDG, oh. and there's little line items, and it's like a beautification program. It's going to help one person, maybe five. Uh, we won't go into it, but there's some line items that you'll see uh, next week, and it's only going to help one person or two people. It's it's and and I think what all of you. About? It's it's the it's the general she's referring to. Our general entitlement allocation has been steadily going down over the past several years. In fact, um, I think we lost another three percent this year, and so as a result, the available dollars we have, based on how our program guidelines are set up, limit how many actual. Um, yeah, but individuals, she, but, but she said something totally different. We know it's the, the you're talking about the CBG there's, there's, there's and certain, entitlement. There's certain grants that we'll be looking at next week, and some line items like a ten thousand or fifteen thousand. It's going to go to like one or two people are going to yeah, get you it. Have that in the home for the two people. Yeah. Yeah. Which home you talking about? Because things are expensive. Which, wait, what you talking about? Yeah, I'm not know, sure which item you're talking. You're talking about the she 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 is referring to our. CDBG overall grant. CDBG allocation. That's yeah, what but she's that's saying. the Fed money. No, you're talking that's about the, the $80,000? So she ta she's talking about our overall Fed dollars. No, I'm th that's a community-based. Yes. This 80000 is for the community organization. That's just yeah, one, yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Th one there's, there's yeah, that's money. Not, that's uh -huh. not part of this budget. I know, that's, but I'm mentioning because you're talking about we're, talking about repair? we're talking about additional money. I'm just giving my point not of view. For additional money for housing and fixing up money it's like how much money can we put in how many people can we help and if we're helping 10 people that's 10 I people we did, who didn't have um stuff to help i know but help. what about the other twenty thousand? But, but we, we have guidelines and yeah. so we have requirements I, I, that, that's just my opinion and we're helping people in need we cannot help everybody 
Okay. And yeah, if we're talking about construction and we're talking about home repair, that, that, like know, a wolf, the, the average price for a wolf is about 15, 20 grand for a wolf. Well, and we that, repair that, a wolf. Okay. Yeah, that's, 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 that's big opinion. time difference. Can we stick to this? Yes. yes. Yeah, but we are. We are no, because he, she said outside. something. But, Councilwoman, you got to understand different districts have different need. Because yeah. um, if you're looking at the city overall, in order for you to have the city to look a little bit decent, for, for example, in my area, you have a whole sorts of need that comes economic, social, economic um, I have, needs. I have everything. My district is very There diverse. you go. So the my, my district goes from I'm sorry, guys, for the sake of time, I mean, yeah, these but, are, but, uh, but this is an item that has nothing to do with this. Uh, that's that just my point of view. Yeah, I'd that's what makes me. Oh. I'd rather spend 20000 mm. doing a row of streets, hmm? a row of landscaping than one person's home. That's, okay. that's just me. That's just me. I think everybody's tax dollars <coughs> would like to do it for the whole city. Okay. Um, parks, I would like to see more programs. Uh, we've been short on programs. I don't know. I guess we have adequate staff. Uh, uh, community buildings. We're, you know, we're talking about bonds bonds are not here yet uh, the Margola Center is really shabby the tot lot uh, that community building really needs a face more than a facelift it needs a structural lift it, it's it's horrible and we need to put money aside I thought we were going to do that I don't know if we we have done that it, when we when we meet again I would also like to know what we have set aside already that's going to be rolling over for our community centers that we haven't spent yet, what we still have coming, so we know whether we need to allocate more money this coming year or request more money this coming year, because there may still be, I know we talked about a lot of good things happening and they all haven't happened, and I don't know if there's still money for <coughs> for that, so I'd like a little update, update on what, what plan update. where we are in our budget, what we still have left. Uh, to, to spend on that, again, landscaping. And um, also, I'm looking for a shelter on the n in the new North Bayshore Park. I don't know. I think all that capital improvement money has been used. So I'm hoping that we can get a little money just to do a little uh, shade in that park. And the idea of using our master tree plan, getting some more trees planted is a good idea. And that's, you've done a good job. I guess we have other money coming from other sources uh, that we can look at also. But I'm hoping we should be getting a payment from Solomia. Yes, we'll be giving them. That, that is, that is a capital payment, so I'm hoping that that capital payment is not used for operating expenses. Yeah, what I would, if you, if you follow statute, one-time money should only be used for one-time expenses and recurring revenues Mm -hmm. used for salaries and services. Okay. So for that, um, in fact, the budget director already has, uh, he's developed an actual plan um, for those for those funds, like a, a reserve and, and uh, use plan. And we'll, we'll bring that, we'll bring that item forward. So full maybe, time. maybe with a little of the money, we could again have our discretionary fund for capital improvements in our districts a little bit and for one-time expenditures. I, I haven't used all mine. I haven't begun to touch it, but I would like to set it aside for capital improvements. So, but thank you. But uh, while uh, Councilwoman Key is talking about uh, Solemia money, you need to understand something, Mr. Manager. And Solemia are going to build about uh, 4,300 units mm -hmm. on the east side. I think uh, you need to think about what you with where you're gonna find money, right? For housing in the west side, in order to match the 4,300 unit that's gonna be built. That's when you gotta identify land. You gotta identify you are you need a housing plan. Where you're gonna find money? Which one you're gonna be using to build equal units? On the west side, Mr. Manager, I, I say yeah. we plan. We I think Councilman Galvin might be able to to help us with this. But one prior one when this solar meet, well before it was Biscayne Lending, Solarama, yeah. and all that. Part of their sold the to the community mm -hmm. was that um, it was supposed to be going to help out those 
houses that um, Councilwoman Key's talking about, it was supposed to help them. So that's why, because they haven't done their job. Because part of the, that, yeah, that was in the in, in, yeah, in, initial. From the beginning, the yes. That, that is, it, is it in the new one? No, I don't no, no, not no. in the new one. That was well, the that previous was the one, which is gone. Mm -hmm. but I know. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to add something to you, Council Bienname, that um, I've been, and I've been speaking about this, and we have housing in this city that so badly needs rehab, and we have, I'm not interested, I, th I don't think the city builds housing, and I'm not looking to give rich developers who are getting already their tax credits and all sorts of dollars to build new housing, because I think a lot of people in our city are not gonna even be able to afford it once it's built. But we have people specifically in your district and my district, and even condominiums, and the housing is deplorable. I was in condo last week. I don't think the carpet's been changed out for 20, 25 years. Mm. The, the, the elevators are not working in this. There's, there's condos here, no elevators, mold, filthy carpets, and a lot of people were not going to be able to move. They're not going to be able to afford to. I really, really want to do something to fix up our existing housing, and that was part of the original Biscayne Landing. It wasn't necessary for new units, no, but it was for rehab. She was talking about, you're so talking I about the commercial buildings. Commercial and Residential. Condos. You're talking yeah, about residential. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Residential, yeah. 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 multifamily yeah. buildings, yeah. condo and owned by one but, person. But how come, the, the, you just said you don't like uh, how and investing money in housing mm -hmm. for single families, but you're okay to invest money on commercial buildings. Mm -hmm. Be That's what you mean? Because, so here, you are, here you're Explaining helping, what, um, here you've got 20, 30, 50 families in one building. So and if you have, if you help the owner, or if you have a condo that is in such dire straits because of the foreclosures going on, you're helping 50 people instead of one person, and we're giving them loans, and we're eliminating the blight of an entire building. These, you own a home, you're in a house, it might be bad, but these condos and these rental apartments are just deplorable. And no, the roofs are falling in, they're mold, they're, there's rodents, there's, I mean, some of them, they're not all. But um, w I really would like to help the people who are living here before we, <coughs> before so we go out and build new units. Yeah, but uh, Councilwoman Keys, when you have a single family home, they pull a permit, right? That's tax increase. The property value went up and the city get collect more tax in property so taxes. That's okay help, with the that's help both, that in both I'm ways. I'm not, help I'm the family, at the help money. the city at, at the at same time. I'm looking at improving the quality of lives, and I would rather improve the quality of 30, 40 people living in a building that are just at somebody's but mercy. To me, the, and, and I don't have a, any problem with fixing anything. Everything needs to be fixed. But when you do fix one home, th their property value, that helps the neighborhoods, et cetera. So you don't have a problem with fixing buildings, but you do have a problem with fixing single houses. If I, if I need to get that correct, is that what it is? I, wa I want to give loans to people to help Whoever's people. Whoever's qualified. I mean, uh, buildings or homes. I mean, is the city look nicer and newer? Is better for us as, as a city? But, but That's I, the okay. goal. But, but I think... Say, uh, would I rather give 20000 to someone to fix a roof, or would I rather ki give 20000 or loan 20000 to a condo building to get a new elevator so people aren't stuck on the bottom floor and can't get up in their wheelchairs? But yeah, uh, I'd rather give it to a building. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's right. your, your point of view. And, and I think, Mr. City Manager, <laughs> I was going to ask residents. you... I was going to ask you for something also. <laughs> housing. Housing, it's, uh, I think it's one of, uh, besides resurfacing, sidewalk repair, new sidewalk installation, driveway approach, and uh, housing. Yeah. Oh, you, you already put housing. That's been for home beautification, home repair, on top of the money that uh, we get in from art. If we can add some more money because we have some, some really peop uh, people in need for uh, when we have those people and it's, I it's would like yeah. it's a big issue for for, for, for our community for people in my district because they need and especially those retiring people definitely I mean I mean it's no given if you look at the stats 
you know, of the, yeah. the of the demographics. I mean, it's, I mean, it's very obvious that the community needs help. You create jobs and and we need to because they're gonna hire contractors so to do the job. You increase yeah. property yeah. values, yeah. and we increase our tax yeah. base. That's uh, it's a lot of things that we and helping the resident. That's if I can add more than one. And if I can add two more things, if I can revisit the police department again. And I've always talked to the previous chief and to the now the new uh, permanent chief that we have. I care very deeply about the police department and I believe in any municipality, the police department plays a very imp imp important role, not just in safety, but community relation. So uh, when I sure. talk about police visibility in our streets, in our neighborhoods, I don't see just law enforcement, ICP, public relation. Uh, what I mean by that, police officers walk in the streets, go to neighborhoods, shake hands with, you know, family members, mem moms and dads. You get acquainted with the youth because a lot of times, you know, the youth, you know, they're afraid of the cops because of whatever negative perception that they may have had. But once they have a good uh, contact or good encounter with a cop who comes say, hey, listen, I'm your friend, I'm here to help, and that's what I would like to see in the streets of North Miami. And I believe for the department to do that, they may need increase uh, in the budget, and, and they may need to revamp uh, certain community programs and, and systems that budget. they may have. So if we can be there to help them do whatever they do, because when I walk the streets, we want at least, if I'm walking a, a street or if I'm sit standing in a corner you for like see. 15, 30 minutes, there should be a police car, you know, pass by, you know, so to speak. So let's do that and see if we can help the police department be more visible in our streets, in our neighborhoods. And if I can, uh, Chief, U Chief Eugene and I have already had um, a few discussions now about more community policing. He's going to be advancing a plan now. Yeah. Um, in in the upcoming weeks that will start to address some of those issues. So okay. I think you guys will all Second be one, second to last, a bus shelters. And a bus shelters. Bus shelters, bus shelters. I'm I'm, I'm not gonna say anything more about that. And it's sp especially the bus that that's what you call them, right? Bench bus bench shelters or bus bus, shelters. bus, bus bench shelters. And uh, the lobby, Which lobby? yeah, okay. it needs a plastic surgery. <laughs> Not just Botox, and I, I don't want any Botox injection, no liposuction, no tummy tuck. We need to completely revamp this lobby. It's, it's almost like you're reading my mind. Um, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. a floor? Well, mm -hmm. I, you want to do a floor and then. Yeah, like, yeah, like a nice we desk. Do we do the lobby. I mean, give it a 21st century look. So we, we, we have certainly queuing. We yeah. have queuing issues in the lobby. Yeah. Um, yeah. Customer service, in engagement area issues. So, yes, it is something that, that's been on my mind. We've been trying to figure out how we do it. You know, we want it to be more safe in the lobby as well because, you know, we've had a few incidents. So we want to address all of those. Yeah, I address all of those because, I mean, God forbid one day, uh, the Prince Prince Charles, you know, may be passing by and decided to visit us. Yeah. Which bathroom is he gonna go to? Yours. Mine. <laughs> 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 Maybe we send him to Galvin's. <laughs> so these are the ones that I really have for now. And b yeah, the the lobby is something that we should put on top of our priority list. But Mayor, you was talking about uh, mm. community policing. Mm. Do you have community outreach in the police department, like civilians? Yeah, Chief, no? I think so. People who can go and talk to the people about issues at the church. I'm talking about that. I mean, it can be civilian also. You can come to the mic, Civilian work is doing community outreach. That means people in contact with the community. Yeah, what do you call it again? If there is issue. What you, you mean the power? The power? The power? No, the, the, the cadets? Explore. The cadets? Not explorers. They have a group of. Um, they used to write the tickets, 
CDs and packs? Or? No, 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 no. You can buy service aid, PSA. Thank you, Councilwoman. No, that's not right. Yeah. You're yeah. talking about. Yes, you can come. Yeah. Next time. I don't think it's, it's this Decide that we are working closely to put uh, to reach to the different uh, churches and uh, what department community affairs basically. I, I've mm. been going to church every weekend, three, four churches. I never see one of no, those. actually, at this time, they come to the station, they are with which, but we put it on the item okay. to develop what we call a uh, Citizen Quam Watch actually to reach to the community and okay. increase it is part of our request of our priorities. Okay, okay, okay. So wait, you, you, I'm sorry, Chief. You said what you requested because I'm reviewing your budget. Some f some people to no no <coughs> hold on. Mm -hmm. oh. Let me get it. Under your supplement. Understand. We used to have a Quam Watch coordinator. Yes. Yes. He retired. Marvin, yes. And I don't know if you remember. Part of our request I see is the one of them. Is the fourth from the oh, bottom. Oh, okay, I see. The Crime Watch coordinator. Coordinator. Yeah, we, we, I think we talked about that last year. Okay. So, like Marvin, what Marvin okay. used to do. Marvin used to do it, but okay. actually he was a demon from, from several of you on the dice yeah. to replace Marvin. Yeah. Unfortunately, due to the budget restriction, we were unable to do so. And okay. we tried to do it right at this time. And then, with, with do we... Do we don't have to go into that. No, no, okay, no. don't answer my question. Okay, never mind. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I traditionally ask the homeowners associations in my district for their wish list rather than me tell them what I think. So what would be a date by which I need to tell them, have your list in by this deadline? Because without one, it'll drag along into the actual mid-July. July 15th or whatever, th second Friday or something like that. And okay, I'll, I'll look at the calendar. I will be looking for dollars for Enchanted Forest Park, some cleanup, maybe some additional staff, um, simply because I, I, the, it's on the back side of my house. I know there's a lot of potato vine back there. To remove the pit potato vine takes staff, but is it a necessary for it to be a permanent staff? Do we have some grants that we could apply for? Uh, I've got some ideas that I've just not been able to put in any e email to you, but I, I, on my mind is Enchanted Forest Park. Also, Mocha. No, sorry, uh, let me help you. The contract that we gave to that company, was it just to upkeep the stable or just? It was just the, the just stables the stable. and the ponies. Yeah. Just the stable and the ponies, not yeah. the. A and I don't, think, I don't think the park itself has much of a staff. I know uh, Lola Heasley is there, and she probably has they a couple other yeah, folks couple that of help people. her. Um, but you can look into it and let me know. Uh, Enchanted Forest and sort of gussying it up a little bit is, is on my mind. National Park Service 100th anniversary is coming up on August 25th, so I'd like to do something in conjunction with that. I've got existing District 1 unallocated funds, though, that I'll probably want to use for that. Um, so question one I have, I guess, is are is there going to be an unallocated district money in this next budget like it was this last budget where we had $100,000 per district? Or... Was that not something you guys were thinking about? You, you'll have your uh, your district one project funds will be reallocated to the next fiscal year if they're if they're if not I exhausted. If this I year. if I exhaust right. it this year, right. is there going to be a new hundred thousand for no. each of us in the next budget? Well, that goes back to the discretionary uh, funds for each council. Oh, so really? If you wanted to do that, if you, if that's funded, that would be separate. But no, there, you don't get another hundred thousand. That original was from the Biscayne Landing. Uh, from that from that project okay so it's worked out well from my standpoint mm -hmm. and even though I've not spent much of it yet get ready mm -hmm. um, but it's worked out well because during the course of a, a year projects and ideas come forward that aren't thought mm -hmm. of now and you have a little bit of money you can go back to 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 do things like that so mm -hmm. uh, if it's not a hundred thousand dollars if there's a way to put some level of dollar amount in there uh, whether I'm going to give it to nonprofits or whether I'm going to use it for things in the district that somebody thought of that mm. normally I'd have to say, oh gosh, it's not in the budget. Wait till next year. Um, it would be cool to have a pot to go can back I'm, to. Can I make yeah, a like suggestion? Yeah. I like what what Councilman Gavin was saying, but 
if specifically, let's just say he identifying a hundred thousand, we we just say okay, a hundred thousand for this project. Not I'm just saying, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. Hear, hear me out for a second. The the fund that we were talking about, the the, the screen that, um, two things. It's two different things. Yeah. Okay, the other fund, I wasn't thinking of it being that high because I don't want all the CBOs to get it worried out there. We got a hundred thousand dollars in the all no, coming. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Oh. So if let's just say we allocate a hundred thousand dollars, he said a hundred, a hundred and fifty thousand for Enchanted Forest. And then within that money, there's some whatever that he it. needed to do within the, the year. Can they do a budget uh, amendment um, within the year? And then let's just say that the funds that you are allocating to the council member, let's just say it's five or ten thousand dollars, whatever that is, that 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 amount. Y you see what I'm saying? I don't want our fund to be where it's more than the county commission, where everybody in town is yeah, hitting us no, no, for. Fine. No, no. You see what I'm saying? Um, two, um, we're talking about two different things. I know, but I'm the addressing no. the two different things in one. The one that the mayor said is different than what uh, I think uh, Councilman yeah, Scott Galvin. It's for projects. Yeah, project. Yeah, project. 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 Just previously. Yeah, for projects. Yeah. It's not money where we can give to anybody. We're talking about uh, big. But, I, I, I but yeah, but for if you heard what Council Gal Galvin was saying, Councilman Galvin was saying, if our fund is up to 100000 for capital projects. No, 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 he wasn't talking about capital You mean discretionary I, I am, no, discretionary I am talking, mm -hmm. well, I, I will not be giving money to any CBOs if you give me that yeah. money. No, it's your, it's, right. it's going to be your right. call. Right. Right. It's, right. right. it's, right. right. it's, yeah. it's going to be saying, your call. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, I, uh, if you give us $100,000 each, and I use that number only because it's the number that we had this last year. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. Whatever dollar amount you assign, my intent would be that I would use District 1's money for projects that come Within up along the way. One. Absolutely. Um, pu art and public places projects. Yeah. So for maybe money don't in the that district, that, yeah. yeah. Maybe right. don't the for money that, in the district. That's it why is, I was asking. It is it's, 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 it's like the tree. It's for his discretion. For those in the audience tonight. For, tonight. for those in the audience tonight, maybe. What do you mean so? If I you you use it as you see. I mean, it fits. I mean, as long as you We need trees, right? We have to identify yeah, money and say, okay. <laughs> it's project you're talking about. Yeah. Oh. It's project in the Who district. It? It's nothing else. Who brought it? So, Mr. Mayor, may I, so may, I, <laughs> may I continue? Yes. Thank you. Okay. For those in the audience tonight, we do not have much detail on the planned budget coming up. This is a very, very sparse starting point. So. W you might say, why are they asking those questions? Shouldn't that be in the books or papers that they have? It's not. This is just the starting point. A very voluminous, detailed budget will be available to the public and to the council as that gets clo closer. I had just gotten a text on my phone saying, Scott, wh wh where's the budget book? You know, the, the oh, we haven't. Uh, right, we're, not, yet. There no, yet. we're oh, not there yet. Oh, that's the, yet. the yeah. two right. and mandatory. Right. And, uh, but we've confused our budget. audience. No. In, in a sense, we've confused our audience by being ahead of the curve this time because they're <laughs> expecting that that bo yeah, book is already there. Yeah. It's not there. That's why you say the, la yeah. the last question I have, Mr. Mayor, funding for MOCA, is that going to be addressed in your budget? Um, board? In, uh, yes, in fact, uh, I believe each of you met with the consultant that we hired to develop the strategic plan for the museum. Um, he and I have had some discussion, and in the upcoming weeks, I'll be probably sitting down with you individually and going through that strategy plan. Um, it has a basis of a fairly substantial request or oh. framework. I don't want to get into it now that we need Please to discuss don't. about how you how we would bring MOCA back into prominence. But that's a different, I don't want to get into that. I'm not making any recommendations right now. I want to sit down and go through that discussion because we will need, the council's going to have to be kind of engaged on that because we're talking about bringing a new ordinance, a new management agreement, a bunch of, a bunch of things before we even get to that point. So. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I, I'll, I'll ask the homeowners groups to give us a, and a, a, a wish list by July the fifth, Friday, July the fifteenth. Okay. So with that said, can did we you have put? Did you add Griffin Center for? You, you add I Griffin wrote a, a note for, for Griffin. general facility improvements. Okay. Griffin. That's that would include Griffin. <laughs> so that uh, that CDVG and home programs will be presented uh, the next, next week. week. Yeah. I couldn't. 
Okay, this is community, the CBO, okay, CBG. Okay. All right. Need to adjourn. Thank no you very problem. much. I appreciate the uh, time and uh, commitment. Thank you. Thank you.